this broadcast is dedicated to exposing what has happened to uh, Robert Richard, House of Larson, and uh, evidencing, you know, for the world to see how this machine operates. Now, Robert Richard, dear as Rocco, is one of the few that had the backbone, you know, albeit in real life, he's got a rod in his back, as you may have heard from the recording. Uh, he is one of the few that has, has stood up and said, no, I, you know, he realized he's being administrated and there's no way out of that as a citizen. So he dissented. The U.S. Inc. does not like that. They're applying psychiatry, um, applying force, drug dr use, trait, dress, tasering, tasering, breaking down somebody's door to implicate fear, a new state of being, which is interstate kidnapping. Robert Richard is also one of our legislators, which uh, uh, if you don't realize at this time what that means, you might want to go look that up. Yes, because there's a little bit more of uh, liability there for roughing up our legislators. Right, as we only adhere to the public law. Now, this doesn't apply to somebody who says they're a legislator, or, and it doesn't apply to... Somebody who says they're a sovereign state and acts as a citizen or, or perpetrates harm. This applies to Robert Richard because he's under the action of public law. Um, he doesn't have any other law that he adheres to, including commercial law, communism, starry diseases, or any other aspect of a commercial schematic. Uh, Robert Richard has never harmed a human being. And this is evidenced by not only the record, uh, but, of course, uh, by his works in action. Yeah, and, and it goes back to the judge now. The marshals are acting on the behest of this judge, a so-called judge, because it says judge on a piece of paper. And that's their job. That's what they've been brainwashed into believing is the... Uh, authority figure, but this these judges, you know, as we evidence in my case, there was not one incidence where they ever incident they ever evidence themselves as a judge. They just say they are. Great. They don't have that, shall I say, status by their actions. Right, bound by judicial canon. The only thing that allows a court to actually stand is that judge bound by judicial canon. A judge only has the ability to view evidence and rule accordingly. It doesn't have the ability to practice law. That's what an attorney does. It's not a social worker. It doesn't practice social work. That's what a social worker does. And so by the evidence, these attorneys in black dresses are evidencing themselves not as judges, but as attorneys, social workers, psychiatrists, and the gamut of fictional creations that do not bind a court. A court, their courts, of course, are bound as administrative centers, convention centers, where attorneys meet and convene. That's it. They don't have any authority. They don't have anything other than those pieces of paper. And, um, of course, I, I don't want anybody fearing living as a sovereign state either. Now, Rocco put himself in this position so that you may know what is going on. Rocco is taking one for the United States to evidence their crimes against humanity. This is not to say that this occurs on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm, I'm right here. Bo's right here. And, um, yeah, on that, I'd like to point out you are referring to United States lowercase not the uppercase incorporated state, United States Inc., which is all they should be calling themselves at this point. They don't have the evidence authority to even call themselves United States. Right. They have to apply that incorporated uh, stamp or moniker, and they have been, 
you know, even in uh, mainstream media, buses now say, you know, they're incorporated on their school buses, things like this. And this will change uh, because they have to identify themselves as a corporation. They cannot identify themselves as a sovereign government. They are bankrupt since 1933, and that disallows sovereignty under the actions, uh, acts of commerce and private acts. And um, again, this occurrence, you know, was gained last year. Rocco put evidence on record in the knowledge that at some point when he pulled the trigger, he would be attacked and these things would occur in order to evidence their crimes against humanity. And you can follow his record. I uh, will start putting those up as well. Uh, you know, and, and as we say, there's others in the works, you know. Um, the United States Incorporated has a specific chain of events, if you will, or functions. Uh, they're limited by their directives. Based on their directives, if we see them coming at any time in the future, this will be evidenced and everything will be maintained in order to hold them accountable. That's what this process is all about. It's not about you know, whining, that's something that I, I want to talk about uh, later tonight as well. It's not about whining, oh, if only, if only. It's not about saying you are and then you are not, which is uh, relative to Matthew 23. And Rocco's walk is actually designed by 1 Corinthians 13. And it says that we are to suffer and experience all things by which to evidence their works and actions, as well as our own beings. This is evidence of our be living. This is evidence that he is a sovereign state. And um, again, there's no case number. Uh, our law enforcement has indicated that on Monday, they would like to arraign the estate of Robert Richard by video uh, at this place. And um, we'll be following up on, of course, the Bo and Rocco show on Wednesday. And I pray that Rocco is with us at that time to share his experience. Well, yeah, I mean, there's nothing like getting it from the horse's mouth. And... Uh you know, I'm sure that will be forthcoming, but, you know, rest assured that this is an action done by Rocco to evidence these things for all of humanity, to see for themselves, you know, so they can see what's been going on all this time and how uh, psychiatry, a force, uh, duress, a uh, trick is used to keep you being a slave to the United States, Inc. Right. So they can carry out their function along with the uh, judge's uh, um, commission to throw you under the bus as a special deposit uh, under 28 U.S.C. 453 to discharge congressional bankruptcy. You know, and it's their bankruptcy. That's the thing. That's the big thing you got to wrap your mind around. It's not our bankruptcy any longer. Is this? This is not being around our necks. This is not uh, millstone that's hung around our necks anymore because we evidenced that it is their bankruptcy. They're the ones that are bankrupt and depraved. A human being cannot be bankrupt and depraved. Right, and we're evidencing this now, and the foundations of what they're um, going on the mecha mechanics is that marriage license, is that certificate. Now, when you have that certificate that says you are married to that female, that psychopath, 
you're assuming you're under the assumption that you're married and she's married to you. So you're both speaking the same word. She's speaking your word. You're speaking her word. Now you have been taught chivalry. So you're, you're always protecting her while she's in con constant contract of actual marriage as to the lawful contract of marriage with the state. Now, all of their relationship, she was married to the state. In June of 2009, she evidenced that marriage by entering into union to maintain the false allegations against him by which to take all seven of his minor children off of him and get them spread out. All of those children are spread out into foster care and care and, and all of these things by which to not only redistribute the state, but use those children, the babies, as product to garner those fundings under CAPTA, under various programs. CAPTA, of course, was uh, Walter Mondale's baby, the um, Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act, which goes in line with the psychiatry, use of psychiatry under the uh, action of a soft cell term of eugenics. Uh, this is actually genocide, and, and uh, you know, we again, we have evidence that Adam was indeed murdered by the United States Incorporated through use of psychiatry and prescription medication. And all of these things are being revealed to you so that you can see what that thing is, one, and number two, what it does, how it makes its money. It makes its money attacking you. It makes its money going after you. It makes its money separating you. And when you enter into a relationship with these psychopathic females, she's always contracted with the state. So you've got a third party to your union that requires you to have that little piece of paper. And especially for you, you had kicked and screamed about entering into that contract with your ex-wife, the psychopath, knowing that that would be your downfall at some point in time. However, she threatened to take your children if you didn't. And that's where your downfall began. With that contract, the third party was invited into your marriage. And um, you know what happened next. And do you want to talk about that for a second before we run out of time here before the break? Well, and unfortunately, this psychopath is a product designed for and, you know, by the attorneys. Uh, I mean, we're trained these things, how to uh, accept the last name and uh, open the mail, uh, pledge allegiance to the flag. You know, they, they stick that in the Hitler Youth Camp educational system that they call public schools. They shove it in your face, okay, without giving you a, you know, alternate uh, view or, or course of action. This is just the way it's going to be. And then they tell you that, oh, well, you consented, you know, you're a citizen, so... Um, yeah, go ahead and plea in our courts if you like. As a matter of fact, they like that very much if you file complaints and, you know, answer summons and all of that because that's how they're creating the money under 28 U.S.C. 453 that they use in your names to go wage war against, quote, unquote, terrorists, uh, you know, divide and conquer, you know, create all these divisions uh, through uh, the National Security Act and its many tentacles that came out of that from 1947 and this is further evidence of the genocide and how they are preying on humanity you know to create that division amongst you all amongst all of us ah oh, he's muslim ah oh, he's christian ah oh, he's catholic you know that energy that goes back and forth is what the attorneys are siphoning off of you. Controversy. Now, the word con, it means with. Trover means treasure trove. And, of course, that's why it means the action of any form of controversy is 
how you are taken into the system. That means they've found you as treasure trove. This is all facilitated on the high seas. You can go back to the 1924 Covenant of the League of Nations, which is the annex to that is the uh, 1777 Articles of Confederation. Uh, League, of course, is a synonym for confederation or confederacy. And in the 1924 Covenant of the League of Nations, nations meaning counties and states, foreign states meaning uh, Walmart, FedEx, uh, BP, that, those agreements were signed on the high seas as under Admiralty Law, uh, wherein privateers have been commissioned to attack and capture enemy vessels to bring them in front of Admiralty Courts, of course, for condemnation and sale, which is what we're viewing every time somebody's stopped for a traffic ticket, every time somebody's brought into court on a family matter, probate court. Now, the action of probate is always abatement of a freehold and unlawful on its face. However, if you consent to the inner pleading and you consent to being a citizen and you consent to them holding your estate for you, then you're entering into a binding contract. That's a contract. You're allowing it, your trust, which means they're facilitating this uh, colorful trust under color. The illusion, the character of a trust is called a fiduciary. And in that relationship, that's a trust. You're creating that trust by patronizing it. And, you know, compelling their oaths, compel their oaths to, under that trust, discharge congressional bankruptcy. That's what you're trusting it with. And what do you get in return? You get, uh, you get uh, fractional reserve banking, uh, lowered uh, income, you know, due to inflationary rates, and which is all controlled again by the same mechanism and, and group of people, this league, uh, there is, um, you know, a time where we thought things were hunky-dory and stuff, you know, back in the 40s and everything was great and, you know, a Christmas story, you know, was based around that, that time period and stuff. Well, you know, behind the scenes, the same mechanism was building up to you know, what we see now um, is basically a 97% uh, a reduction of the value of the Federal Reserve note, which is not money by definition. No, it's a debt note. Under the action of debenture, a debt secured by your own earning power. These mortgage-backed securities are human beings. That's a security. The surety is a human being. And a mortgage is a dead pledge. These are pledged assets backing the Federal Reserve note. These are pledged assets. The human being is a mortgage-backed security until now. And everybody needs to realize every time they take out one of those dollar bills, and, and Rocco is so profound at explaining this when he's much better than I am, every time you take out a bill, a bill out of your wallet, you're subscribing to that debt until now. I mean, these things are, are, are sick and twisted, and as Rocco said on the recording, it's horrifying. It's absolutely horrifying, the actions of these bankrupt and depraved individuals, corporations, persons, whatever you want to call them, whatever title they're maintaining or taking up. And, well, you want to dissent? You don't like this? Okay, we're going to send the marshals in, says the judge, to tase you and beat you back in the submission. And like That's I what's said, going on here. Like I said, by the time I contacted them, I'm wondering if they made a mistake and they were going after this Patrick because he's a citizen and up for grabs um, under this thing. We'll find out more information on Monday and um, as to why this is happening to Rocco. But I have a feeling that it was simply a mistaken identity. And that the marshals may be immune from prosecution because of the actions of the judge. And But as I said, I, I'm waiting on that uh, uh, order to receive an order of some kind. And we're back to the second hour of Leaving the Farm. 
right here on Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, where information never sleeps. We are a listener-supported radio station, where if you'd like to donate, please visit us at www.freedomslips.com and click on our support pages. We're also being simulcast live right now on No Borders Radio. You can find that at scottishsovereignsontheland.ning.com. And um, following the arrest of Rocco, uh, we will get into some news uh, because the rest of the marshals are actually discharging congressional bankruptcy with the new surety, of course. And um, following the directives of the United States court, lowercase u, lowercase s, and um, our judges now... Uh, yesterday, no, two days ago, Urbana attorney charged it with retail theft. Now, this is a, a fun one. A veteran Urbana attorney has been criminally charged for allegedly stealing food and newspapers from an Ur- Urbana grocery store. And for more information on that, you can go to the news to gazette.com. But, uh, you know, it's ironic that a $150 an hour attorney would be resorting to... Uh, That's a cheap one. They're usually 300 or right. 500 if they're in admiralty. Right. So what are they doing shoplifting if that's not political cannibalism? Um, these things are, are very interesting to see uh, in Michigan. From MLive.com, Ann Arbor defense attorney charged in sexual assault has court hearing postponed. He said he needs more time to get ready for his defense through his attorney that has already solidified the judgment against him. As all of our listeners know, that is a cognitive judgment. It occurs when an attorney puts in an appearance. So, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, right. And, and if there's if, if you go in there pro se, pro per, sui juris or whatever, you know, and you're in there pleading, uh, if you don't have an attorney, no problem. That's what the uh, judge uh, will facilitate for you on your behest. He'll Absolutely. represent you because they only represent, they only uh, evidence themselves as attorneys. Right. Um, also, globally, now, we came in as the United States NREM uh, at all. Libertas in Ram against the thing, not a thing, do not call me a thing, a resident, or otherwise at all, together. Libertas is actually the state of liberty. Now, liberty is a franchise granted within honors. Honor meaning that you are not bankrupt and you are not depraved. And so when we laid down this case originally, we came in saying, look, we're in, we are in honor, and then we evidenced it. And at the same time, we evidenced that the United States Incorporated is indeed bankrupt. Now, these are the, not only the rules of the exchequer. These are the rules of the force and chases. And now, I am no longer being chased. 